Back in January, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only businesses that I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel, determining what business I should buy next. So today in this video, I am going to spin that wheel again to see what business I am going to buy next. So welcome to episode 53 of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so right now I am on the wheel of businesses. And we only have three other businesses that we could buy, but one of them is going to be the office building and then within the office building we can buy a special cargo warehouse and a vehicle warehouse so technically we have like four more businesses to purchase but what business am i going to have to buy next so the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to have to get that office building in as our next purchase so let's take a look at the office buildings real quick now there's four different offices that we can purchase but i mean by far the cheapest one is going to be the maze bank west location right here coming in at a million dollars i mean the price variance between these four is absolutely nuts. I mean, that one's three million. That one's two million and a quarter. They have the Maze Bank Tower at four million. So yeah, we are just trying to be effective right here. So we are gonna just get the Maze Bank West. Now, none of this other stuff I really want to get with it too. So this is just gonna cost me a million dollars. And currently, right now, I have a whopping zero dollars. I am actually broke once again because last episode we bought the mobile operations center. So yeah, we're gonna have to work a little bit to get the Maze Bank west location all right so right now i'm on the wheel of quick cash and we can't do some of these options because i have no money so what are we gonna have to do to start out this episode in order to make money so the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to have to keep going okay we could do find g's cash for sure i mean ah shoot i guess i could have done sell to a street dealer but whatever we're gonna have to find g's cash all right so right now i am on the wheel of making money so what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money so the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to have have to do security contracts okay we have to do four to six security contracts all right so right now i'm on the wheel of four to six so how many security contracts are we gonna have to do in this episode so the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are doing five security contracts all right so we're doing six security contracts but what else in this episode am i gonna have to do in order to make money so the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to are we doing doomsday highs yes we are okay actually never mind about the security contract screw that we are doing the doomsday heist this is gonna be the first time we're doing this as a host so we are gonna start out with act one of the doomsday heist right here all right so we are doing act one of the doomsday heist but first i need to go and find g's cash real quick all right so we've made it to g's cash right here so i gotta find wherever the heck g's cash is over here i'm apparently close to it and my controller is already vibrating oh it's right here oh i found it okay wow this time it took me like 10 seconds but yeah here we go let's collect g's cash right here and there we go we got 19 thousand three hundred and seventeen dollars plus ammo and snacks all right so now i am gonna go to my facility right here and we're gonna start act one of the doomsday heist all right so right here i am at my facility and behind me is the heist planning wall screen whatever and it looks like i'm gonna have to get a setup cost for this heist i completely forgot about that so i gotta go get some money real quick so i'll see you when i get twenty five thousand dollars all right so i've made it back with twenty five thousand dollars on the dot so yeah we can actually set up this heist all right so here we go this is our heist planning screen right here and well this heist is going to act a little bit different than pretty much the other heists in the game this is kind of unique all right so on the left is going to be preps and we need to do these preps in order to start up the setup right here so like this top one right here we have to get paramedic equipment so we can start up the dead courier setup i'm probably not going to show you this stuff on the left just because it's pretty standard we have to go and get stuff bring it back here but i'll show you the setups right here since we haven't done act one yet and i am looking very forward to doing the server farm setup one of my favorite missions <laughs> no it's annoying but yeah i'll see you when i have all of these prep works done all right so i completed all the prep work right here yeah that was incredibly long uh, the paramedic equipment prep was pretty quick to do but the deluxo prep oh my gosh it was just so boring my facility so yeah that was annoying and then the akula prep was also kind of long but anyways we can do these setups now and these setups kind of act more like an original high setup except you only need two players for these setups instead of four players so yeah i'm going to start up the dead courier setup right here and let's see if anyone wants to join all right so we're setting up the act one of the doomsday ice right here we're doing the dead courier setup and i have a level 88 on my team right here and well i'm supposed to get into the ambulance my teammate's doing something else so we're going to be separate 
card. My teammate is at level 88, so hopefully, hopefully he does well. Now, for these three setups before the actual finale, I'm going to put these setups on normal, but the heist finale, I'm going to have it on hard. And I'm doing this so that we can actually hurry this up, and hopefully no one actually fails. All right, so I've made it to LS County Coroners right here, so I have to park this ambulance, and I have to walk in pretending like I am a paramedic. So yeah, we're just walking up, acting normal. You know, this is where I belong. Yeah, sure. All right, so now I got to go to cold storage and where the bodies are, and we're taking something off of the body. I'm not listening, so I don't know exactly what I'm getting. Hmm, what a nice dead body. Uh, well, you're not you're not the guy. Are you the guy that has the stuff? Nope. Okay, I'm 0 for 2. That is not good. Is it you? Nope, it is not you. Okay. Um, so now I got to go to the coroner's office. Oh, good. A stealthy part of the mission. Nice. So this is going to be fun. Uh, can I do this stealthy? Uh, so far, so good. But what is this guy doing? Why is he just taking photos? No, die. Where is this guy? Oh, he's just down here um, looking at some bookshelves or something. I don't know what that is. Well, he's going to look at the floor because he's dead. All right, so I'm in the office. So now we have to get this laptop and download some stuff from it. Wow, what a nice download screen. All right, so there we go. We downloaded some stuff. So now all we have to do is leave. And and people are pissed off. How are people pissed off? I don't know. They didn't see me. Um, I guess someone got alerted. All right, so yeah. Getting out of here is kind of annoying because there's a ton of people i have to shoot on my way out i wonder how my teammates doing and he hasn't died yet so that's a good sign yeah for the doomsday highs as as a whole we have to kill so many different people yeah with this mission server farm even the finale for this mission ton of people we have to take out and well i made it out of here pretty nicely only had to eat snacks once there so that's pretty good all right so now i have to regroup in the savage all right so here we oh my teammate died how did my teammate die all right i guess i'll save my teammate hold on nice all right is that everyone are we good now I am going to get into the Savage. Uh, I don't know what my teammate's going to do. It doesn't say that we have to be together, so I will do this on my own. How I like to do missions in GTA Online well, on my own. As long as my teammate doesn't die, I'm okay with it. Wait for your team to get in the Savage. Well, he didn't get in the Savage, did he? I feel like that's a little misleading by the game. All right, nice. So my teammate is getting in the helicopter. So now all we have to do is just deliver the Savage to the drop off, and we should be good to go, I think. What? what? What do you mean mission over? Dude, we're flying so long in the Savage and we could not like lose the cops. Then I parked the Savage right where we were supposed to drop it off and then, then I lost the cops on my own. I don't know, but yeah, I, we're, we have to do that all over again. Woohoo! I don't think that was any of our faults because we spent a long time trying to lose the cops and we were not anywhere close to the cops, but you know, we were apparently still in sight, which is stupid. Oh, oh, and the recovery failed. Mm, so I am assuming that means that person left. Left. Yep, thank you. Thank you, game. That is your fault. That is not my fault. That is not that other guy's fault. That is on you. I need an apology. All right, so we're trying this setup again. Uh, so you pretty much got the main gist of this setup during the first time I attempted it, so I'm probably not going to show you any of it until the ending. Okay, we finally completed this setup. Jesus, this, this took way too long. Yep, there we go. Setup pass. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so we're doing the next setup right here. It's going to be the signal interceptor setup. All right, so now we need to get into to a deluxo then after that i have no idea what's going on all right so we've made it to the deluxos right here so i'm gonna get in the orange one that i customized all right so now we need to hack certain targets in these vehicles so yeah that we have to hack five different vehicles my teammate is right behind me um i don't want the teammate to be behind me whatever it's fine Here, here's the first one so let's start hacking Hey, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I didn't do anything wrong. Yep, don't mind me. I'm not hacking you at all. Just don't worry about it. Hey, 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 I'm not hacking. What did I just say, guy? There we go. Okay, okay. So we, we hacked that guy. I'm going to turn around, regroup, and then I'm going to send a little missile his way. And then a goodbye. There we go. One down, uh, four more to go. All right, here's the next van right here. So, yes, we are going to hack you, and you're going to like it. If I remember correctly, I think this setup was actually... Oh, geez. dude, I'm getting smushed. Dude, I'm... <laughs> Oh my god, that was so- No, don't kill me. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that van's destroyed. Yeah. As I was saying, yeah, if I remember correctly, I don't think this setup was very hard at all. The next one that we have to do, server form, is probably one of the hardest setups in the game. And then the finale itself is pretty hard too, so yeah, that's going to be fun. The finale is not as hard as the Doomsday Scenario Act 3, but it is still incredibly hard. At least in my opinion, there's just a 
ton of people we have to shoot. All right, here's the next van right here. Time to hack it. All right, there we go. Hack that and goodbye. All right, so we have one more target to hack. All right, so we've made it to the final van right here, and it's time for you to get hacked. All right, there we go. That van is hacked, and that van is gone. All right, so now we have to wait for Securo Serve to locate even more vehicles. Woohoo! Okay, yeah, 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 more vehicles to go. So, yeah, I guess let's go find these vehicles. Are these boats? Oh, yeah, these are boats. Oh, yeah, so can we get into hover mode yet? Avon, you got to tell me when to go into hover mode. All right, there we go. Yeah, finally, we can go into hover mode now. So let's go over here and let's hack this boat. Yeah, this is going to be a little tougher because there's no like blind spot. So we're just going to get shot at pretty closely. All right, there you go. That target is hacked and that target is dead. Let's go to the next one, which is right beside it. Conveniently for me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Other mode's weird. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whew. I almost died there. Okay. Let's eat some snacks and let's go to the next location. Dude, I don't think my teammate's doing that much. I think it's literally just me carrying right now, <laughs> per usual. Okay. So my teammate's hacking right now and he didn't take out the target. So I'll take out the target for him. Nice. So we have one more target to hack. So I guess I'll do this. All right. There we go. Every target has been hacked now. Every target has been destroyed. So now Securo Serve is doing stuff right now. I have to wait on that. But I think we have to go to the airport for some reason i don't know why i'm thinking that yep oh okay i was right you have to go to lsia all right so i've made it to lsia now what are we doing oh okay we have to wait for my teammate hurry up bro what is my teammate doing are you kidding me are you kidding what is your problem you can go around i don't know if you know that you can go around stuff she's flying the war <sighs> get the weirdest people to join sometimes when you get outside of doing like the diamond casino eyes or the guy break eyes yeah people just get weird yeah so now he's getting in mine which i mean you don't have to drive right now or you don't have to hover right now she was trying to hover which okay whatever where is he going i get the most interesting people i was thinking this guy has a pretty good level but he has not been playing well and then yeah now now he's just showing he's an idiot you get up the hill you get up the hill. Yeah. Wow. How complicated was that? We have four minutes to do this. Can we actually do this in time? All right. Yeah. So we have to get to the runway and we have to hack the big cargo plane right here. So here we go. Yeah. We get to hack this big cargo plane. That is fine by me. Okay. This hack is taking a while. Hurry up. Bro. Bro. What is happening? What is happening? What is this hover mode? This is hover mode. What? hover mode so okay that is the second setup now that we've died for a stupid reason appreciate that game i really do i just did a backflop into the water yeah that's great all right here we go let's try this again i mean we're almost done hopefully this teammate doesn't rage quit like that one teammate did dude i've i've been doing this entire thing on my own i swear my teammate is just flying around he's just he's just having a fun time and i'm, I'm out here literally working all right there we go we hacked that and now we need to destroy it. Don't mind if I do. And there we go. The cargo plane is destroyed. Now all I have to do is just deliver deluxes off and yeah, we should be good to go. Alright, well I've delivered my deluxe so and my teammate has kinda. He's all the way over on the other side of the parking garage. It's fine. Alright and there we go. Set up pass. Let's move on to the next one. The worst one. Server farm. Alright, here we go. Here comes the best setup in all the game. Server farm. Alright, so the teammate that I was working with the past two setups did not join back so i'm with a group of four actually right now but right now we have to get into the cooler and then we have to go to the news headquarters and that's gonna be a fun time all right so we have pretty much made it to this government facility right here so let's land right here on the helipad all right pretty smooth landing so now we have to use the ladder and go on down so yeah this first part we have to do stealthy which this part is a little complicated to be honest so yeah this part is not exciting at all it's just move forward and just use our suppressors just one by one yeah, so far these teammates seem like they know what they're doing, which is nice. I'm cool with that. They're pretty high levels too. They're like in their hundreds, I think. Okay, yeah. So the head of security is walking out now. I right, say so here they come. So nice. There we go. All right. So we stealthily took them guys out. So can I get the stuff? Yeah. Okay. I'm getting the stuff right here. We have to search the head of security for the access codes. All right. So now we need to go to the server farm entrance, which I'm going to go this way. I think this way is a little bit quicker than the way that they're going. And you have to take out less people. Oh, wait, never mind. They all turn around and going to follow me. All right. There we go. Everyone is taken out. Everyone needs to hurry up and get here. All right. Yeah. So now we're entering this government facility. So far, so good. Very clean. Oh yeah. By the way, I'm not going to have four people for this finale. 
I'm only going to use one other person. So if all these guys want to join, then someone's getting booted. All right, so I would like to do this part stealthy, but who knows how this is going to go. All right, so yeah, I made it to one server right here. Oh, shoot. I forgot about this. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're telling me they're telling me exactly how to do this. I mean, I, I kind of remember how to do this. We're just kind of guessing here. And then we have to run a test. And then, okay, so these two patterns work. So we need to switch these two up, I think. And there we go. That is one server hacked. Hopefully my other teammates can get the other ones. Wait, what? How did they know we're here? Well, that wasn't me. Guarantee you that wasn't me because I was just chilling out and someone died. Okay, that is great. Good job. Dude, why is this guy having a problem with this last hack? Like, come on, hurry up. Two other servers have been hacked smoothly, but this one has not been because this guy is having an issue. All right, there we go. He finally got it. Nice. So now let's get out of here. And someone else died. So good job. All right, let's try this setup once again. We are spawning inside the server farm. I think the noose is going to be um alerted right off the bat so i don't think we can even attempt to do this stealthy anymore all right so while i made it to the exit and i think the guy that was right next to me is almost oh no everyone's literally here all right cool yeah let's go on up guys all right so yeah we're casually getting into an elevator and we're gonna go all the way up to have even more fun all right so now there's a ton of people out here so yeah this is going to be a great time so yeah i'm gonna use some grenade launchers to try to help this out a little bit and well i think th i think this is going good so far i mean i think doing this for people for competent people i think was a good idea because i don't feel like we're having that much issues right now aside from people dying from last attempts but yeah i think we're doing good now all right well i'm gonna speed run to the roof because well i don't like just standing around shooting people dude oh my god all my teammates are just standing there i'm literally just going for it and they're just all standing there now they're starting to move i mean like i'm almost there all right so i'm gonna get into the cooler right here i think my teammates are almost up all right everyone's in so now let's get out of here yeah why do i feel like this has probably been the easiest attempt for me to do any of these setups yeah we've already lost the cops and all we have to do is just land at sandy shores yo yeah, well, how do how did we do the hardest setup definitely out of these three setups but probably one of the hardest setups in the game why have we done this setup the most efficient out of any of the setups that we've done so far like are you kidding me and yeah there we go setup passes move on to the finale all right here we go we are jumping into the finale now this is one of the guys that was in the last setup with me but this guy did die well he was one of the two people that died so that is fun hopefully he won't die here hopefully he gets more skilled because he's gonna need to be this is one of the harder heists this is probably in my opinion the second hardest heist behind the doomsday scenario and this is on hard too because well i want to get more money and well thankfully for this guy he accepted 15 percent, so he's only getting paid like one hundred thirty-eight thousand dollars. and this is the last first time bonus we can get for any of the doomsday heist now you've only seen me do the doomsday scenario we've done that i think twice but then during the lost episode, we did do the Bogdan problem, which is act number two. So hopefully I will do that at some point in this series, but I will not get a first time bonus. But I don't think the first time bonuses are crazy. I think it's only $50,000. All right, so we've made it here where we need to go and we have to take out a bunch of enemies. And well, I've been using my vigilante in a while, to be honest. And while doing these types of heists again allows me to use my vigilante. All right, there we go. Oh, I ran that guy over and it's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess we're walking in now. And yeah, now we're going downstairs. <laughs> okay, yeah, we didn't leave the vigilante, but sure. All right, so yeah, now we have to take out a ton of people. So yeah, this is going to be a fun time. Oh, shoot. I didn't get snacks before this either. Hopefully, I have a decent amount of snacks. I think I do, but we're going to need it. Oh, and my teammate already died, so... Nice. That is kind of what I expected. This one definitely gets overlooked and how hard it is compared to the doomsday scenario. All right, here we go. Attempt number two. Uh, can we actually do this, please? Can we get out of this first hallway? Another thing with this setup, too, is that there's not a great place to hide, really, in a lot of spots. And while my teammate does not really look like he is trying to hide, so that is not good. Yeah, cover is your best friend in these highs, and I don't think he understands that. And my teammate died again. All right. Very good. You're doing great, teammate. Just just walk through and flop like a sack of potatoes there you go all right here we go attempt number three can we please make it out of this first hallway okay so i feel like my teammate's being very very conservative this time he is not pressing as much as i am right now which is fine with me just let me take care of my heist and just just sit there i'm cool with that i feel like i'm doing good right now i feel like this is by far my best run but doesn't matter if this teammate sucks okay let's move forward move forward i think we're good so far yeah let's go through here oh and my teammate died yeah he's just flopping around like a minnow in shallow water right now all right where do we spawn in we made it a decent ways that time okay good we hit a checkpoint that's good okay yeah me and my beautiful expertise 
beast made it all the way here. Not this guy. That This guy kind of took a backseat that, that last attempt, but that's fine with me. Just let me take care of it. I can take care of this. All right, so now we need to go into the war room. Where the heck is the war room? Wait, wait, we had to go down just to go back up? What? How does that make sense? What? I don't understand that. All right, so here's the war room. What are we doing? Oh, we have to go to a gun. I remember this. Yeah, we have to go to a gun camera. We're taking out a bunch of, like, reinforcements. Okay, so yeah, we're just sitting here in these guns, and we have to try to take out as many things as we can. Oh my god, there's a lot of things here. Hello, are we good? Are we good? I think we're good, right? Hello? We're just getting up. I'm, I'm a little lost. Oh, yeah, we're good, yeah. Hello, Agent 14. All right, and there we go. Act 1 has been passed. Well, that wasn't too bad at all, actually. And, well, we got all of the earnings that we were potentially were gonna get. I got 85% of that, and that is $1,035,000. But we did quick restart because that guy decided to die a few times. But we did this for the first time, so we got a 50000 extra dollars. For now, a total of $1,085,000. Pretty much all of that money that we made during that heist is now the total amount of money that I have now, which is enough in itself to pay for the Maze Bank Tower West. So let's purchase that real quick. Here's the Maze Bank West, only for a million dollars. We don't need anything else with it. And yeah, let's buy it. And there we go. We still have $87,000 left in our bank account. But yeah, let's go check this out. All right, so right here is my new office building, the Maze Bank West Tower. So let's go inside and let's go check this out. All right, and we are walking in for the first time. And here it is. You're looking good. I, you're looking good. Um, sorry. Um, I don't know why my assistant's flirting with me already. Okay, shut up. I don't care. I don't care. I don't I don't like that sexy talk. So yeah, this is my office. You know, it looks pretty nice. I mean, look. Look, the view. The view right here is pretty good. We have a nice view of the movie studio. That's pretty cool. All this stuff pretty much is fluff, except for this thing right here. My main computer. And so let's access this computer. The assistant's gonna talk to me a little bit about this. All right, so this is the screen right here. We can look at our special cargo warehouses that we can select from and the vehicle cargoes. And I just added both of these different warehouses to the wheel of businesses. So when I do spin the wheel of businesses, once again, we can now buy one of these warehouses. So this is my new Maze Bank West Tower right here. And next episode, we are gonna spin the wheel of luxury to see what item we are going to buy next. Make sure you check out this video right here if you wanna see the worst way to do the Kyle Perico heist in GTA Online.